Hi, and welcome to this Trains tutorial on pick lists. Uh, a pick list is uh, a, a container or a list of assets which you can use to filter on in Surveyor or in Content Manager. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up Content Manager. So start Trains, open up Content Manager. And just say you have a favorite list of objects that you like to use. Uh, for instance, we'll just take uh, some trees. Let's just say these specific groups of speed tree you used a lot. And you got sick of uh, typing in different names to find the ones you want. Let's just select a, different, a few different ones. So they're your favorite trees you like to use. So what you can do in Content Manager, and we'll recreate this in Surveyor as well, is you can go right click add to pick list and you can add it to the default pick list or you can go new pick list and you can say my fave trees let's just go trees number one or let's just call it trees one so trees one is my list of favorite trees so once we have our pick list there, we can start up trains. We've saved our pick list, and I'll show you how to view your pick list in Content Manager in a second. So once trains loads up, we then create a new route. You'll probably be editing your own route. And under here, there's a thing called Content Search Filter. So if you click on that, it brings up the content search filter in which you'll want to look at the pick list default drop down. So when you drop that down, it goes change pick list. Instead of having the default one, which you can put everything in the default if you want, but it's probably best to create your own. Trees one, select that and they're all the trees that I selected in my pick list when I was in content manager. So I can start to use some of these trees even though that's not a tree. And I can quickly, as you click here, it changes your um, selected object over here. So you can see what it looks like. So it's a really quick way to get the assets you regularly use or want to use. Or even test out, for instance. If you go, yeah, I'm not so much sold on this bush. I don't think I'll ever use it, so I want to get rid of it out of my pick list. All you do is you go over to it, drag it out, and it's gone. So let's get rid of a few more of these. So these are the ones I won't be using, but I like the rest of them. So I'll keep the rest. And that becomes my new pick list. When you drag things out, it just automatically saves that pick list again. So for instance, if we wanted to create a new pick list within Surveyor, instead of doing it from Content Manager, we go, uh, I want a list of houses now. So I go houses one. You can name it whatever you want. So we go to there, then I might have uh, a range of buildings that I've put down in the route itself. And I'd go through and I'd say, oh yeah, I definitely want to use that one again. So I would uh, find that one, drag it over to my pick list. Uh, I definitely want to use this other house I laid down uh, at the start. So I'd pick that one. That's actually a group of houses. Uh, I'd grab this one over here. You go, yeah, that's another one I want. So I'd add it in here, and you get the idea. You keep adding things into your pick list, so you can quickly swap between your pick lists when you're editing your route to say, I want more trees. Now I want to put those nice houses that I wanted in again. And that uh, allows you to quickly and easily get the assets you want instead of having to scroll through here, type in the search, and find the ones over and over again. You can delete pick lists. Uh, you can display the thumbnails for them if you want to see them quickly there, but I mean there's the viewport over here that you can look at, so I'm not sure that's of great benefit. Uh, and delete pick lists. Uh, sort in ascending and descending order. So once you've done that, you've got your pick list you want. Uh, you can maintain them from within here by just dragging the ones that you don't want out or dragging the ones you want in into your pick list. Or you can preview uh, edit pick lists in Content Manager, and you'll see I've got two pick lists here: trees and 
house or house should be houses uh, and then all you do is right click open pick list and it gives you the list of uh, objects that you have in your list and again you can right click remove from pick list uh, I don't want any of the groups anymore remove all them and that's it so that's editing it in content manager as well but you'll find that when you come back into here I go to select my trees and it's only got two left because I edited it in content manager so I hope you're going to find the pick list uh, really useful to control uh, the content that you want to be using in your routes a little bit easier uh, and yeah get and start using them in the latest SB uh, one build of trains thanks for watching